Okay, so we are gearing up for CASPA because it is about to open up at the end of April, April 29th, I believe, to be exact. So with that being said, there are lots of things that you guys need to be thinking about. And one of those things is your letter recommendation. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. You guys, it's the number one back to my channel. So I know that many of you are excited because application is almost in full effect again. Yay! So excited for you guys because you guys are one step closer to sending off those applications and getting into PA school. But many of you are concerned about the various different components of the application that you can do now so that you are well prepared in the future when the CASPA cycle reopens. And one such component that you can actually get ahead on now is your letter of recommendation. So Eva Palomares asked me, hi Adana, love the video. When you are reapplying, do you use the same letters of recommendation? or is it better to switch in a new person? I'm curious if it's standard to keep the same ones or do you the people you've asked in the past update their LOR? Thank you. Okay, so great question and I mean I think it's important for you to be thinking ahead because you know you want to be prepared. So absolutely um, if you don't know what the letter of recommendation is or the LOR it's essentially a reference. When you're applying for jobs you have these references. Um, you say references uh, upon request or however you want to put it at the end of your resume. Well when you're applying to PA school or med school or I guess NP school, any school, you need a reference and that reference is usually in the form of a letter of recommendation. So your letter of recommendation can come from anyone that knows you in authority, right? They're supposed to be able to talk about who you are as a person. And so that can be your teacher, your, you know, your boss. Um, it can be that's typically who it is, or like a really good friend that you've worked with, I guess. So you could say like a coworker. Um, but anybody that knows like you as a person and knows your work ethic and how you can be as a student. So those are things that you should be thinking about. And actually on Get That to University, we have a masterclass on how to ask for the, you know, the letter of recommendation and who is the best person, I guess, you can ask for the letter of recommendation. So if you're interested in that, go and sign up for Get That to University so you can make sure that you get access to that because that's exclusive content for the site. But with that being said, um, you want to ensure that you actually have the person in mind. Now, if you're a reapplicant, you would have already asked three people or two people. Um, typically, PA schools are requesting two uh, individuals to grant you letters of recommendation. Um, I believe you're, up, you're able to give up to five for CASPA. So you just wanna keep that in mind when you're thinking about who you're gonna ask for this letter of recommendation, who's the right person to you know, attest to who you are as a potential student. But I would absolutely say, if you're reapplying, you know, don't necessarily use the same recommenders. Now, I used one of the same uh, recommenders because he was a physician assistant. And for the majority of schools, it is required that you have at least one PA be the one giving your letter of recommendation. It, the others can be an MD or a DO or an NP or something of that sort, um, you know, PT, OT, whatever the case may be, along with like your professor um, or your, your boss like your, or coworker, but one of them has to be a phys from a physician assistant. And so with me only knowing one physician assistant, he was like always my go-to. So I would always go back to him and be like, hey, can you, you know, write this letter of recommendation again for me? Um, and send him the link. Now, there are components of the application. If you start it early and then close it out and restart it, that will transfer over. You can look up that information on CASPA's Frequently Asked Questions section. I'm not sure if the letter of recommendation is one of those things that actually automatically transfers over. I don't think it is, so therefore you're gonna have to re-ask these people, hey, can you please write another letter of recommendation for me? Or just tweak it a little bit, or update it, the one that you've already written. So if that's the case, then you would do that. But I feel like you always want to be bettering yourself or you want to like show like, hey, I've taken the initiative to 
learn more, study more, do more. So um, here is my new letter of recommendations from the new recommenders. Um, because you wanna show that you're always improving. I mean, you've been coming to YouTube and subscribing to my channel because it helps my YouTube algorithm a lot to hear all of this information about what it's like to be a PA and the necessary skills and assets and you know various different things that you need to be doing to get into PA school. So utilize that and showcase that. And one such way is to get new fresh blood in when you are asking for a letter of recommendation. Now, again, there are some people that will allow you to like read it. Some people will be like, hey, can you just write it? And I'll look over it and tweak it how I want. It all depends on the relationship that you have with your recommender or, you know, the recommender that you're asking. Like, you know, sometimes they're really, really busy and they may not have the time. Other t others really want to make sure that they're talking about you in a manner that is accurate. And so you have to be very particular in who you are choosing for this letter of recommendation. But on top of that, um, I would absolutely suggest that you go ahead and get new recommenders. If you only have one PA, go ahead and ask that same PA, hey, can you write me the letter of recommendation? And speaking of letter of recommendations and, you know, mentors and all of that stuff, uh, GTCU is going to be starting a new, like, mentorship slash virtual shadowing um, letter of recommendation program. So in the website, if you sign up, um, in the future we're gonna be rolling this out where you will be getting one-on-one -on -one time with PAs and you're going to have, to, you're gonna be able to build that relationship with them where you can actually ask them for a lot of recommendations. So that is something that you all should keep in mind. But I think it's really important that you better yourself at every point of this application, okay? And so if that means searching out new recommenders, then so be it because you want to show that you have changed, you're different, um, and there are people that can showcase that better than others. So be very picky and choosy in who you're asking for your LOR and you know, let God do the rest, right? Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Eva, for this question. I really appreciate it. Again, if you guys have not already done so, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I look at these comments. Um, please go ahead and subscribe and like this video for me. Follow me on Instagram, at it on the PA, and on Instagram at Get That to University. And please be sure to check us out on GetThatToUniversity.com because we have a lot to offer for you guys. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!